But just opened actually for sure an office in Kiev. Yeah, but <laughs> this is the same in Ukraine and other countries like the United States or Philippines. Well, our interview process in USA is is a little more more interviews, more people. Um, just talking to uh, two account executive candidates uh, three days ago in Florida, and they spoke with all of management of USA, and all management, you know, was part of the interview. Process. They were uh, at the office for a full day, basically, you know, six to eight hours of interviews. Uh, but that's a different role. You know, we're looking for people with uh, ability to build relationships, or people who have sold this kind of development service before, people who have a track record of having achieved a certain amount of revenue. So we, you know, we, we're trying to ascertain that information. Um, so anyway, it's my answer. Mm -hmm. And same on JetBrains, uh, I can say that we are not aggressively hiring. However, uh, those who earned um, helicopters today <laughs> <laughs> are eligible to submit their <laughs> <laughs> Please do it, very just. Okay, I have one question, uh, maybe general, for uh, representatives of Oracle, of uh, JFrog, of Spring Source. JetBrains, maybe your companies actually any chance to open your offices in Ukraine or maybe even in Lviv? Uh, because I would like to say that in Lviv especially, uh, we have a good IT atmosphere here. Um, many and many young people are selecting IT, IT specialities in their uh, high education. Uh, so maybe there are some chances to open offices of your companies here in Lviv. Yeah, actually, I would like to extend the question. So, uh, do you think some time to outsource, not just open your daughter company, but really outsource your job? Maybe it will be better if Petras can recommend it for you. <laughs> As I see from my position, it's quite impossible because many, many Russian companies don't want to work in uh, small Ukrainian cities just because. In Ukraine, we have a large problem of people migrating to higher, uh, to to higher salaries and to to better conditions. So not everybody want to work in small city. People want to migrate just to have another five hundred dollars in a month and so on. So people, when they are young, many people uh, live in Kharkov, in Donetsk, in Dnipropetrovsk, in Lviv, and then when we. Uh, want to to grow and when we want to uh, get more money get new positions and so on we are looking at kiev that's why so many people even from lviv even from ivana from kievsk and so on they moved to kiev so in i would say that uh, Kharkiv and Lviv have almost the same salary as kiev so yeah. no. No. <laughs> no 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 you need to update information. Like just Kiev. just take a look on Dow and oh, change uh, change yeah, different cities. Uh, the difference between 200, 300 euros before the dollar to cost, uh, but it's not changing. Yeah. Right. Yes, it's comparable to Paul's rent. Well, for us, what is the discussion? from my experience, it's not it's not a complex so thing just, just to hire already. anybody yeah. from Kharkov or Lviv or some other city in Ukraine just to give them good Kiev salary. Okay, so the next question... It's from my experience. Did, did you think about downshifting? So really, <laughs> just <laughs> give up everything and... And go to Lviv. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Makes no difference. Downshifting in Lviv. Uh, at yeah. least Lviv, but maybe in some village and dig. <laughs> I would want to make a proposition as an uh, answer to the question. Uh, could, you, could you speak a little bit louder? Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Maybe we should start to create own technologies in, U in Ukraine, not just wait for something to hire us. Maybe we should not apply on only our hands, but apply our brains too. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so just go open a stamp and then Yeah, uh, one uh, hand about uh, doing this. So first, uh, it's not about the city, it's about the country, like Oracle going to uh, Ukraine or Google going to your Ukraine, uh, that's one thing. Another thing that if, I'm not sure for a very big company, but a medium-sized company, if the person is really good, this person quite likely can work remotely, so it's 
very easy to work from Lviv. Yeah. For medium size, medium size means up to like 20,000 uh, companies. It's very, very easy, meaning that you have the right skills. So they could easily take you remotely. And I do like some, I know people who work remotely for a very great companies and like staying here and so that's easy, but it's a question of skills. It's not a question to the company. It's about passing the interview process, doing the right and stuff. It's so it's also, it's also about the ability to work remotely. And not yes, everyone can, Balance, can, work, skills, can work yeah. from home. And not Spring for core team is, uh, as far as I know, is very, very distributed. Yeah. They all work with that's true. The yeah. consultants in the USA and in Europe are all there yeah, are, there are teams. There are teams uh, uh, like, for instance, Rebbit and Q. They have very nice office in London or Cloud Foundry, and their office and development office. But the core team, and this is the the remote work, is something that that is not a problem at all. I mean, it's something that. Well, there are but, companies that but, but don't have an office. Gradleware, for example, they don't have an office or, at so, all. Yeah, well, for instance, for instance, okay. yeah. They don't have an office. What company is there again? <coughs> Gradleware, the, the company behind Gradle, yeah. they are yeah. all rock stars engineers. There is, no possi uh, there is no possible way in the world to hire those people in one geographical location. And they never tried. They have a good person in Australia, he's in. They have a good person in New York, he's in. One in, uh, one in Germany, one in Poland. So they just hire people. They don't look for how, for a how location. They work together. I mean, logistically, it's it's a nightmare. It's, it's a nightmare, but a nightmare. but, but it, it works. What, what, it works. Okay. Some company took the day. Problem. Uh, <laughs> distributed agile. MySQL is the same example. <laughs> so this MySQL. Is, this is a, a trend. And definitely a trend now. They they're more. There, there are exceptions to that, like uh, probably Yahoo. Think. Yeah, for trying, but it's I, majority. I no, they have good reasons. Yeah, they, it's, they a it's a different story. It's a different story. Does soft sell follow this trend? Yes. 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 Basically, you, yes. you have remote vacation uh, positions. Yes, right now? we do. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay. Guys, uh, about the distribution and uh, offices. About now, question about methodology. How? What? Which methodology are you using at the moment? And it's not a question to you. Uh, uh, let's see, because I know it's uh, you are the uh, evangelist. Uh, it's about question to com companies like software service, more or less they become the same, but about product companies like Oracle, Spring, and other companies. Methodology, so what? methodology of development, I mean Scrum, and the how it's original oh. Scrum, you say it's done it bad, right. and so on. It's about your experience. I can okay. tell, sorry, so I, I can tell for, 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 a, for a real core, core team. How, how do they coordinate the and, and manage the work? But what I have seen already, for instance, for the for the for uh, for solution development in, in, in consulting team for for our customers, like like we customize a product or whatever. This is this is very pragmatic, agile approach. This is you can you can probably you can probably see some parts of Scrum and, and map it to Scrum, but this is very pragmatic. This is like daily, daily stand-ups, which, which are actually not stand-ups. Everybody calls in simply, even if they sit sit on the same table, in, if, if they, they happen to, to be in the office. They, they have like, like a backlog and, and, and story log uh, uh, before each, each, each call in front of, them, of, of, of the eyes. Uh, Scrum Master, actually they don't call it Scrum Master. Scrum Master keeps track of what you're doing right now and not only one day and in, in, in a day, but uh, one one time in, in a day, but but the, even even s several times a day. Micromanage. This is like like my, that, that, that was very very new impression for, for me too because I was I was used to work for instance in a more or less pure Scrum environment like we tried to to, to follow. Your, your scrum like everybody tries but this is very pragmatic you you, you do not have the, the bureaucratic mm -hmm. overhead or whatever this is just but that you need you need to be to be a person of that kind like in order to be effective in that way because scrum actually probably allows allows maybe maybe to organize a little bit different kind of people maybe in that way. so if somebody for instance I, I, like like for instance in this scheme if somebody can't work, can't keep up, or or 
I don't know, d doesn't like that, doesn't like, or or maybe good worker, but not then then he drops off the skin and well, I don't know, something like that. Yeah, but uh, that's that's more or less most of the companies I heard about. This is more or less what they it's post Scrum agile development. It's what, whatever left from Scrum, whatever good worked, good. whatever worked well stays. All the procedure around and all the ceremony usually just fall very very quickly off of the wagon. The mythology of common sense, I would say. And this is this is <laughs> like like I, I heard my, my, like my wife is working in very 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 Scrum oriented. No, but it it wouldn't last long. You, you spend you spend you spend day for a review. You spend a day for a for, for retro. I don't know. This is this two days. I mean you can you can you can look them like like a uh, little a little rest uh, from 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 the work but this is lo losing time i mean lost time it's just examples from two bad ends and of the same thing the so. scrum master scrum master which he has he has actually the the the, the, the only role you know to ask questions like pin 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 the don't forget to log time in jira <laughs> 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 And, uh, and this is this becomes ridiculous. Like, like for instance, I was asked. We, we were asked once uh, on our retro to write a letter to a, to a sprint. Write a love letter to a sprint. <laughs> you have to write. I mean, like you 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 say, well, guys, you are ridiculous. <laughs> I'm scrum master. You don't have to fall. I mean, this is this is for good. Yeah. You you must be. Well, you know, maybe everybody nobody knows how to implement scrum, right? And there is a yes. pure way. But it doesn't matter. This is, we tried, most of us tried Scrum. Most of us left with a fraction of Scrum that actually worked and just or give up all the, all the rest, right? And that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. It's not, you, you don't have to feel bad about, oh, we're abandoning Scrum, we are not good religious people. <laughs> Whatever works, good. Absolutely. At JetBrains, uh, we have uh, several teams because we have 12 products. And uh, it's actually a, f a free choice of uh, each team which kind of Scrum components to use. Uh, the only component which is common for most, if not all, teams uh, is a stand-up, which is a stand-up. So people share the information about what they did the day before, what is their plan for today, uh, or depending on the time, uh, maybe about tomorrow, they share their plans for tomorrow as well. So uh, basically, uh, it's just a small component of Scrum. We don't do pure agile development, and we are not bound to some religious stuff about it. Yeah. And it's well, as as far as as we see, uh, it's the most efficient way to proceed. I think you have to be very practical about what artifacts of Scrum methodology make sense for you. So if you're writing an end user application, yes, you need user personas, you need user stories. What if you're writing a piece of embedded code and the consumer of that is, is, is IP? You're writing a layer two and the consumer is layer three. You're writing some embedded piece of code. Well, you know, this is a different environment. So each, each type of software project you do may suggest some set of artifacts. I like the idea of delivering working code rapidly. I think that's a very good concept. It usually works well. Uh, but then again, what if you're writing like, uh, you know, a massively distributed uh, routing protocol, you know, with all these uh, requirements ahead of time. You have to support this, you have to do that, you have to do that, you have to do that. And you can't deliver working code right away. You, and you have to do some kind of intensive waterfall design phase. Yeah. So each project suggests its, its own organizational approach. And so I think you have to not be religious. Yep. Not be religious. Yep. Do what makes sense. I want to add that people uh, sometimes associate Agile with Scrum and they forget uh, about the second part of uh, Agile uh, approaches and practices about engineering practices. So now in, when you have a small team and I am strongly believer that a small team is much better than large team and I think that they may perform much better really in, in many times. And uh, when you have a small team then the questions about uh, how to do planning, how to do other things from management perspective are very simple and you need to pay attention to technical 
tasks. For example, how to make code review, how to make hire programming, how to make continuous integration, how to make continuous delivery, and you think about how to manage each small change you made in your code base to production environment, and how to make this uh, process reliable. And it's much more important than to make stand up meeting or sit down meeting or to have burn down or burn up chart. It's, it's not the case. So people uh, focus it on Scrum and uh, many people don't like Scrum or like Scrum because Scrum is commercial product. It's, it's, uh, it's a brand. It's a brand, yeah. yeah. And a lot of businesses are made on Scrum, Scrum Alliance, Agile Alliance, ICA and so on. And uh, people forget about uh, that each product is a development and development process. And, and uh, we sell to our customers our solutions. And these solutions are based on code, not on our burn down charts and yeah. our uh, daily stand ups. Yep. So, and uh, this part is not so commercialized because it's not so easy to sell it. You need to be a professional developer, you need to know how to implement it in real life and not just say okay we will use your user stories and here is our backlog you will be a product owner you will be a scrum master so when you your team is going to the next level you will pay attention to engineering practices more than on just like scrum or something like this so it's one commercial note uh Alexei has because nikolai okay. <laughs> so it's your belarusian wrong Pronunciation. Okay. <laughs> okay, Nikolai. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. Okay. In Russian. Uh, sorry. Uh, have on October big uh, agile conference when you can really know how it's correctly try to scrum and work with uh, like a scrum process followed by scrum process. I would say, and I ask you to open his site and it's really cool. So. I sorry he can't say that, but you should I, play him. I have one question. So, uh, we run out of helicopters. <laughs> Sorry about that. I have one question actually. Uh, the relationship between Oracle and the Spring Source. So, oh, Oracle is a good one. Uh, is, there really any chance, relationship. is there any chance that they will like warm? We are one family. <laughs> well, so big, the one big happy Java family. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've been to like uh, Java and like there was no uh, presentations about the Spring. No, this spring. Which but one? It was, Which like, one? Two Java years one? ago, not the last one, like the two what years is ago. Is like is it getting it's better or? Like, like when I joined, I guess a couple of months ago, one of those GSR uh, groups in, in Cologne that you had on the slide. Patching? Patching. GSF. To this this uh, jug groups that that review the GSF. Ah, uh, open open. Oh, this is yeah, adopt the GSR program. Yeah. Oh. So uh, when when I let's say met met the people and, on, on the conference, well, just asked it and, and and explained about themselves and so on. I and I started to, to to ask people or whatever. I mean, I guess I I, I just just mentioned Spring, some Spring technology or whatever. That was the, the, the answer. No, but, uh, but this is not so bad, actually. Comparing, there, there, there to, comparing to Oracle Google, yeah. Oracle Spring is pure <laughs> love. That's the question. Why Oracle hates everybody? No, I, no, the, uh, I don't think that this is true. It's, it's not a closed topic in, inside Oracle. But yeah, uh, Oracle and Spring Source were competitors in, in some part, definitely. However, on making standards, yeah. we are we are colleagues and we're in collaboration. So, for some uh, APIs, for some GSRs, we have uh, Spring representatives in expert groups. And for Java One, I was uh, in the committee of the selection papers for Java One in San Francisco. We actually selected a lot of good Spring talks. That's okay. It wasn't like instructions. Oh, don't vote for Spring or something. It's just yes, naturally. Preferred uh, Java E preferred uh, yeah, over is, Spring framework in, is, in in the topics. This is, this is an area where where where, where interests overlap. Yeah, co but like, like, like sure. GE, but, but yeah, yeah, Java for instance itself. That's not the role built for. It. And uh, uh, last year we had a lot of Java one Spring talks. There was a wonderful panel of Chris Beams with Arun Gupta. It's like. Spring uh, Spring framework uh, against uh, Java. It was uh, it was fun. So uh, it's not like they are 
they won't speak like Oracle and Google. Now this is <laughs> this is pain, but Spring Source is not. Better, uh, yeah, but still uh, the, there was no uh, Google contributions no. at all to uh, Java no. One uh, code papers. Yeah, and uh, this is policy of Google, by the way. If you saw that Google is uh, the good guys on this story, well. Uh, Whatever, when it comes to uh, Oracle conferences, Java 1, Google won't submit. It's not just Oracle won't accept, Google won't submit. Yeah, I didn't know it and it was quite a surprise because we used to think as Google and good, uh, good guys on this trial and Oracle are bad guys. Well, it's not no. black and white. So this yet also? Yeah, no, no submissions from Google at all. It was, no, no submissions from Google. May still be more litigation coming on between them. So. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. I guess it's another uh, question. So, uh, Oracle and Microsoft have a partnership. So, the job <coughs> work good on Azure. So, no, what no, does no. it mean in non marketing language and more technical? Do they plan to do something technically or just the marketing stuff? It's just a, I think that's licensing. Just fix the licensing. <laughs> I, th I think Microsoft getting uh, a different approach with Azure than we've seen from them almost ever. They are trying to compete with Amazon with Azure, and they're trying to run almost all software technology successfully in Azure. And I think they very much welcome the competition to their own software technologies that are coming from third parties that are implementing in Azure. So I mean, you look at EC2, look at all the AMIs in EC2 right now. I mean, every service that the guy from Luxembourg, I don't know if he's still here, he's gone. Every service he talked about in his discussion, you can find like 10, 20, 30 competitive AMIs from different independent software right. vendors, yeah. which will run in EC2. You, you meant the first one for, for me? Or uh, maybe I missed. Like Lockdown Foundry and deploy into Yeah. But it, I, th I think this is what Microsoft is after in Azure now as well, something similar to that. So yeah, those wars are are bad when you come to compete with some third party which is open for everybody. So if Microsoft says, no, 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 we don't want Java, so they will lose customers. The last customers will go to Amazon. It's that simple. Yeah. Commercial wars are bad for whoever manages them and the competitors won. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I have another question. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when I joined the Java world, I uh, don't understand understood one thing. Uh, also, now I don't understand this, this thing. Why Java? Java is a generally also web-oriented language. I don't understand why Java is so poor for a template uh, or another web framework. I, for example, we can count Google Web Toolkit. It is Java, the compiler to JavaScript. For example, uh, in Spring, when you use Spring, you very often use also GSP with uh, JavaScript and uh, no another ways. Uh, for example, when you use Java server faces, you use um, some implementation uh, for uh, client side like rich faces or uh, Mm, prime faces, ice faces, no, so, some faces you use. Uh, for example, another languages uh, like uh, Ruby, Ruby have very flexible template language for them. Uh, for example, Scala by, based on the Java uh, virtual machine language has also very uh, good uh, framework play and uh, the tem template library uh, is written fully in Scala. You can uh, write uh, something like Scala code in your uh, web templates. Why? Um, is this situation for Java? Yeah, so a few years ago, I, I did a presentation about the Java framework. So if you take the, all the combinations you can take with Java, it will be a hundred. You just need to select wisely. Yeah. There are you great templating, uh, yeah. templating engines uh, like FreeMarker, Velocity, Scrap. Velocity, but SimLeaf, yeah, GSP, but GSTL, So th there are lots of. Yeah. And you can take frameworks when you, when you, need, when, uh, you have a with templating engine building, I, like I, velocity, I, uh, velocity I make, like uh, uh, wicket and everything. So I, I will make another. Uh, uh, it's just what? not true. Uh, for example, um, yeah. um, when you use Java, for example, you use for client side very often XML. Mm -hmm. 
XML or, 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 uh, or GSP. For example, XML and GSP are very hard to debug. Yeah, so don't, don't, don't use them. I know. <laughs> what, what is you your... There are plenty other options. Don't use them. What is your suggestion, for example, for me when I want to write every, everything, uh, client-side, server-side in Java? Great. What shall I use in, uh, for this? For Grails. me, the best choice now is Google Web Toolkit. There are no best choices. No? There are... What you need to do, each, why you need okay, to for example, design. for example, I, yeah. I want to debug my uh, client side. Yeah. Use okay. JavaScript debug. <laughs> <laughs> okay. S thank you for uh, sending me to JavaScript. <laughs> I agree with I agree with guys that you don't have an option in in uh, modern world. You don't have an option to avoid JavaScript at all. So I, it's it, there is no uh, such that you should blame. JavaScript is. Uh, Really, one language that uh, good uh, is in uh, that that is uh, one scripting language that is supported by most browsers. But uh, you can use Dart. Hmm? You can use Dart. <laughs> <laughs> what what I want to say is, uh, you have a plenty of solutions, and uh, each solution depends on your needs. And uh, for example, my preference is to use Spring MVC with a scripting engine like uh, Free Marker or Mustache. If you have a client, for example, if you have a client application that uh, want to share some templates from both JavaScript and Java, you need to select this one, for example, Mustache. You can have the same templates in both JavaScript and Java, so it's uh, much more easier to develop such applications. If you, have, uh, if you want to start quite quickly and uh, you are not so, uh, don't have such crazy things like performance requirements, you can start with Grails. And uh, if you know Groovy, for example, and uh, if you know Java, you, know, you can start. With yeah, you can start with Java syntax and don't use yeah. Groovy things. Yeah, and so the, I, by the way, I want to argue about the performance. That is not true anymore for a long time. <laughs> it's holy war. Uh, no, it's uh, not. I'm not representing of both sides. No, but it's measured. You know, it can be holy war if it's measured, right? It's either slow or fast. There is it's no slow. war. <laughs> I can show you numbers. Okay. Uh, actually. Uh, Actually, I can agree with. Sorry, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yes. So I can agree that Java doesn't provide appropriate uh, user interface of Spring to Spring. Uh, GSF, I hate it. Uh, <laughs> Everybody hates it. How about XJS? Uh, you said just that Spring to Spring is a server side UI. Java is quite strong. Uh, on server side. Yeah, yeah, I know. Are, it's uh, like and, uh, next part of my answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So in general, yeah. Java doesn't yeah. provide it uh, at all. In general, yes. FX is pure. GSF is pure. Uh, GSF is server side. It's yeah. Not client side. Uh, no, but they provide. Server side oh. UI. Yeah. Server side, server -side components. Yes. Anyway, it's user interface. I mean, Swing is also. No, but well, you you will finish with JavaScript yes. at the client but side I anyway. Mean, it could be generated and then it sucks, or you can do a good job writing it yourself. That's all. Uh, if you want to build a uh, really modern application, people do like follow. It's a trend now. They use uh, poor JavaScript yep. on the client side, and they uh, perform uh, API requests REST, to, the, to the server API. side. Yeah. REST API or, or sockets, uh, web sockets, yeah, exactly. I mean, and so on. So I think that it's it's a lot of options for you, and it depends on your uh, what you what you want to do and what you can do. So if you don't know JavaScript, of course, this solution is not for you at all. Yeah, so <laughs> no, but then your client won't be a very good. If you 